Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Among Ripples Shallow Waters. First of all, thanks to the developers Eat, Create, Sleep for providing me with a review copy of this game. But I should say that if you are interested in having a go at this, you can actually play a free demo of it on Steam. I'll pop the link down in the description. The demo is part of the uh, sort of uh, campaign they've got going. They are going to be doing a Kickstarter soon, it says, early 2020. So if this is your looks like your sort of thing and you want to sort of help it along you know if it turns up soon i'll put a link in the description but obviously go and follow them on social and all that sort of stuff and wishlist it on steam if it looks like your sign of thing uh, technically it's a sequel among ripples was a very small little indie title back in 2015 uh, almost like a, a flash game almost really uh, but the idea is, is that you're going to build up a uh, ecology system based around water you're going to place everything from plankton down to I don't know, sharks and stuff eventually, maybe, I don't know. But the idea is that you're going to place them down, they're all going to work uh, together and... and and build it, uh, build it up. It looks interesting. Have not touched it at all. Like I said, developers reached out to me and said, you know, this may well be something up your street because I know you've been enjoying things like Planet Zoo and stuff. So we're going to have a look. So Samara, the researcher, says, I'm happy you were able to join us on this venture. We'll do our best to show that we are more than capable to assist the lakes in their recovery. Uh, we've set up the camp already. We're just waiting for you. Thank you, Melka. Um, this lake has trouble keeping the aquatic animals alive and we need to create a suitable environment for the animals. It's going to be nice to see the these fish get the attention they desperately need. That's true. Asa. Asa? Asa. Here we go. A small pond with a couple of dace that needs more life. Increase the dace population to thriving. Create a four-chain ecosystem. Fully upgrade passive income. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to explain to us a lot, a lot of that is. But yeah, the idea is that you've got to make sure that there's like plankton, you know, plants that feed plankton, that feed small fish, that feed bigger fish, etc, etc. So uh, the lake needs new life. You can do it. Move the camera around with was uh, or holding down right. Yeah, rotate. Oh no, holding down left is move right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Uh, first of a few suggestions how you get started. You'll see them in the top corner of the screen. Purchase and add dace to the lake. Okay. So let's have a look at that purchase. Uh, here we go, Cons consumer for, so we need, oh, we've got 26 of those. So what are those then? Like some sort of ecology points that look like they accrue over time. So we're gonna place, place and purchase and taste. Well, here's where you purchase a lot of organisms. There's another tab where you can buy plants and props. Okay, but no, we wanna, we want somewhere that, that dace are gonna, do we or do we want there? Oh no, there we go, one. Was that it? There we go. We gained five of whatever that one is there. Uh, these used to unlock new organisms and research. Okay, cool. So now what do we want to do? Place a breeding ground for them. Oh, I was so ahead of yourself. Did that before. Breeding ground is necessary for most species in order for them to reproduce. There has to be at least two fish alive and food available for the eggs to spawn and hatch. Okay. So how do we know that they have uh, done that then? We have two of two... We need a nearby rocks. Increase egg survival ch chance to perfect. Click the breeding grounds to see what they need. Here that they need, they need small rocks. They need small rocks. So how do we get small rocks? I'm guessing they're here. Small rocks. There we go. Let's put some small rocks nearby. Now they have a perfect environment for getting jiggy and making babies. That's what we like to see. They have perfect O2, perfect nutrients, and perfect toxins. Wait for two days to breed. Hatching will appear above the breeding ground. So we have two days. I'm assuming that's a dace. There we go. Dace. Dace. Good. They're hungry. But, you know, not really much we can do about that. Is there a, is there a time? Doesn't seem to be a time speed at the moment. So that's fine. I would like some dace, though. Come on, baby dace. Should we put some more dace in? Just kind of... Speed up the possibility of a process here. The magic has happened. It didn't take too long, but we have hatching now, so let's see what that's done. Uh oh, oh, a new fish has successfully hatched in the lake. There it is. The conditions are good for them. Keep it up. I will. I'll claim my five little points as well. So this new objective has a star on it. These are objectives that uh, you need to finish in order to progress to the next level. Collect all the stars to give yourself an edge on later levels. Right, okay. So I have a dace population of two individuals of generation four. Right. Purchase and add a producer in the lake. So what's a producer then? Oh, algae. Okay. So I think algae is basically what the dace are going to eat. Oh, right. Okay. And it literally is just a... 
algae. So they could, so they just keep growing because of sun. Unlock and purchase a crayfish. Crayfish. Unlock this species to add it to the... Ah, okay. So we use those ones to unlock them in the first place. Yes. Yeah, so three of those... Oh, I've, oh, I've just, oh, I see. It moved up to here. Sorry. So a decomposter. Crayfish is a decomposter and eats the dead that sinks to the bottom. Oh, well, that's going to be handy for when the days pass away. The currently, we have no dead fish. We have ten. Ten? I suppose algae counts, or are they just popping out baby dace? Okay. So, I'm going to put two of them in. Keep oxygen uh, at a high level for a while. Oxygen is vital late. Producers increase it while dead organisms decrease it. Organisms can die quickly if it becomes too low. So, currently, it's high. To unlock any organism, you need to have uh, whatever that is yet, yeah, and you need to earn these by doing objectives. The new objective goes to start by it. Uh, yes, I know that one already. Okay. When you gain... Thinking when the organisms reproduce, there's also a passive income that gives you small amounts over time. Okay, we'd figured that out already. Oh, it's paused. I didn't mean to pause it. Sorry. Okay, so I'm assuming the dace are eating the algae. The algae is food for the oxygen. Oh, so the algae's making oxygen as well. Okay, that's good. Right, and these dudes are going to eat dead fish as and when is the time. So look, look, one there. Is that you? Decomposting. Yeah, crayfish are on it, look. I'm a nom 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 nom. Died of old age, that's good for me. You are... Are you getting on with it? What are you gonna do? There you go. So they so they clear out so it's all about getting the levels right, making sure you've got enough food for the crayfish, making sure you've got enough algae for the dace, I suppose. And then they kinda it's more of a hands off approach, you know. It's more about getting the systems in place in the first place. Place, place, place. And then figuring it out. So we have our first dace of population of generation four. That's pretty insane. Does it tell us that? Head cam? Oh, look at that. We can actually watch through the, the eyes of a daze. I love the art style. It's sort of like, like cell shaded. Uh, it almost looks painted. Really, really good. It's a very pretty game. Uh, and a and a big step up from the like I said the original Among Shores, which was which is probably more of like a tech demo. Maybe it was put together for like a like a indie competition type thing. You know, crayfish. They need dead, dead organisms, or they will survive. Well, things need to die then, don't they? Uh, maybe should we only have one? That one's really hungry. Maybe maybe one was enough. Well, if you die, you die, and you mate leave you, won't you? So we're going to claim them. Uh, we've nearly... I'm going to keep playing. We'll get the three stars. We've nearly got the oxygen, so I'm going to get that as well. There we go. Expand your lake into another lake by terraforming. Oh, that's interesting. So we can... So we're not completely locked in. Like We have a, fe a fence, what it looks like here, but we can open it up to here as well. Okay. So have an ecosystem of four different organisms at the same time. So we currently have three, right? Are you, you're dead there, look. So off you pop. Oh, you're dead. Oh, the crayfish is going to eat. And you're dead. So I, I so... It seems like um, things you're full now, aren't you? So you're not going to do anything. I want to put another one in. Over there, who will eat, and we'll and we'll see. Maybe maybe two. Maybe now there there's more days that two of them is enough. Um, okay, so expand your lake with terraforming. Let's try that then. I want to. I think I suppose like a little rivery here. Terrain, lower terrain. Terrain. Out of bounds. Oh yeah, no, we can do it. I see. I see. I see. There we go. So I'll get rid of that bit as well. Nutrients affect breeding grounds. Plants can increase it. Horn wart is particularly effective. It decreases when there's too many organisms in the lake. Right, okay. So nutrients are going down a little bit. So let's purchase some uh, horn wart. And get that over there. 
So what do you do then? Redhead grass, you increase O2, no effect on anything else. You increase O2 and nutrients and decrease toxins. Well, that almost is perfect. That's, logs don't do anything, they just look good, I guess. O2 and nutrients and no effect on toxins. That's what we have a lot of already, though, so that's good. And then grass. What do you do? Grass, increase O2, nothing really else. So, okay, so that's all fine. So I guess perch then, I suppose. Consumer. Perch is a medium-sized fish that beats, eats both dace and crayfish. Its natural enemies are pike and otter. Um, well, I, I, wanna, I want one then. I'm hoping... Oh, God, it's gone straight. <laughs> Did you see that? Wow. wee wah wee wah So a, a crayfish... We, have, we now have three crayfish. Generation zero. So one of you has got to be a baby. Ah, oh, there we go. So crayfish don't need one of these things to produce. That's interesting, because my worry was that my perch was going to consume my two crayfish and, and be the end of it. They need organisms or they will start. I know, stuff needs to die then, doesn't it? But I'm, look, I'm pretty sure all this is dead, and the crayfish are all just sat doing nothing, so I bet you sort your life out, crayfish. I suppose the idea is, is that your stuff, stuff dying necessarily isn't bad, and the numbers sort of average out as long as you put the original ones in the base, so that's quite fun. Uh, keep playing. So research passive income to the maximum level. So so how do we do that then? We're currently level one of three. Too few perch. At least two perch are needed for them to breed. Perch without home. A breeding ground is required for perch to breed. Oh, okay. Sorry, perch. So place a bleeding, a bleeding ground. Let's place a bleeding ground over here for perch. And we'll make another one. There we go. So you can there. Uh, and I'm hoping they sort of only only reproduce sort of as they need to. That was quite hungry, so. It just seems to be... Are they dead? No, they're just hanging out. As I said, there seems to be a lot of dead fish right here. There we go. Days are hatching again. There are two perch chilling out. So how, how do we increase the, uh, the passive income then? Research, passive income. Oh, here we go. Research, sorry. Uh, here are perks that you can research as long as uh, as long-term investment using both thingy to do so. Right, okay, so we click that and that'll do two. Oh, I see, so we've just got to earn enough to click the button, basically, which we can do. There we go. Okay. Claim that. So that should give us our three stars. Okay. Uh, excellent, you've unlocked the final star objective in this level. You continue your journey or go back to camp and keep playing as long as you like. Do you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to camp because that's fine. That's, that's what he wants us to do. We'll move on to level two now, I suppose. How are these three thinking I did? Did a great job. Now we can leave this lake with a good conscience. Good stuff. People from Galavar municipal municipality, excuse me, called apparently neglecting barrels of toxic waste has affected one of their lakes. They need our assistance. It's horrible. I hope some life remains. Nature can handle a lot on its own, but drastic changes like that are probably too much. We should go there right away. Let's go. Who's got a big pair of hands on her, isn't she? <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. It's night time. Is that a moose? Just chilling out up on top of our caravan. I think there's a moose sat on top of our caravan. Uh, it's a long than I expected. There's not much left in the lake, but we can get it back to its former glory. First, I have a few things that you should look at before as if you prepare to be prepared what they come. In each lake, you'll learn stars. They can be spent to further your knowledge. Each of us have different experience, expertise and will grant you different perks and understandings of the environment and animals. Hover over me and click the button with the light bulb to open my improvements tray. I will. Oh. Unlock research, increased reproduction income. Go on then. Lower cost of increased reproduction income, lower cost of passive income. Okay, so what else have you got? Can we only do you? Okay. Uh, medium difficulty, this one. Toxins have leaked into the water and it needs to be cleaned up. Popular with dace, have life thrive in the lake and introduce the otter. Oh, awesome. I, I thought it was just fish. I didn't realize that we were getting... Uh, Sort of semi-aquatic mammals as well. That's great. Okay. Unless there's an otter fish that I've never heard of. Uh, this lake looks terrible. High toxin levels and low oxygen levels. Samara has put in some new objectives for you to get started. So, uh, is, is this the lake or is this the lake? Oh, it is a bit of a mess, isn't it? So, where, do, where are we starting? Here? Or here? I'm going to guess it's this big one. So, purchase clams. Put 
put a few down because that seems to make sense. Thank you. Wait for the toxins to reach a healthy state. Certain plants to add certain plants to increase nutrients, add uh, clams, or certain plants to decrease toxins. Dead organisms lower oxygen. Crayfish eat them. So we've got dead fish in here. So let's get so crayfish. Do we have to unlock them each time? Yes, looks like we do. So I'm going to click on crayfish and then I'm going to put down two of them to get them started because they're going to go around and eat all the dead fish. So clams. Uh, clams are peaceful. They reduce toxins in the water. When they have filtered too much toxins, they will perish. So they just... They're right. So toxins have already reached a healthy state. That's good. We need to get oxygen up, though. So, uh, increase... Neut so reeds will increase both oxygens and, uh, and nutrients. So we'll get some of those around. Yeah, um, you. We need something that does both. There we go. Horn wall. That's the good one. It's it's pricey, but it's a good. It's a good plant. Okay, there we go. So that should hopefully start bringing up. Oh, we're paused again. That should hopefully start bringing up nutrients and oxygen. Yes. No. Yes. I can see nutrients ticking up a little. Oxygen not doing much. So what are you? You have little things over your heads. What are you telling me? You're suffocating. Yeah, there's no oxygen. I know. It's gross, isn't it? Are you all suffocating? Oh, no. Clams without food. Well, clams eat toxins, so, so once toxins have gone, they've gone, I suppose. Right, okay. Come on, then. Let's get some of this grass around, this oxygen-producing grass. Let's get loads of it. Right. Ah, dead organisms do actually reduce it. Oh, there you go. The, cray the crayfish are up and about again now. But oxygen just still isn't going up. But we'll take them. Have two different organisms with three individuals of generation three. Okay. Unlock and purchase crayfish. Come on. Toxins and nutrients are, are zero. Why is oxygen just not happening? I suppose the algae did pretty well for, for it as well, right? So let's get some algae in there. Okay. So the, so the clams died, but they got rid of the toxins. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. Oxygen is starting to make its way up there. That's good. So what's up with you? Suffocating. Okay, why does it keep pausing? Is that me doing that? Oh, escape is pausing the game, right? Okay. So there we go. I mean, we should, we've got some oxygen coming in now. Come on, we have got some oxygen coming in. I would like some more algae, but I haven't quite got enough for it. What was the thing it wants us to do? Crayfish. Unlock and purchase crayfish. I mean, we have. I'll we'll just put one more down. Increase the oxygen with algae. Again, working on that. Let's get in there. There we go. Toxins are slightly rising. So, is it only is it only clams consumes algae? Oh, there we go. We had nothing for the algae. So clams can survive, but they will also reduce toxins. When they are filtered too much toxins, they will perish. Right. Okay. So we just need to work on getting this number up a little which we can't do just now but it's slowly coming in there we go so if I put a clam down there boom there we go toxins already going down good for you clammy I'll get you a mate as soon as I've got some more seeds okay we need to get some dates in here we've unlocked them uh, we got some financial assistance increase oxygen with algae oxygen's full now and it isn't letting me click that so i don't know if that's a bug or whether i shouldn't have put plants down i'm not sure um but anyway we need some we need some days so one two three four let's get let's get them kicking uh they've got a breeding ground which is perfect crayfish need something to eat you see so we need to start killing days so that sounds ridiculous but that's kind of how this works um, 
So I have two different organisms with three individuals of Generation 3. So that just should happen with time. We've already got Generation 1 turning up here, which is good. Uh, otherwise, I feel like we're doing okay. These clams... Clams are rocking. They're getting rid of some toxins. So they, they should be fine, I think. There we go. Dace, little baby dace are popping out. Already hatching again. That's good. So we'll just let the dace population build up before we bring anything else in, I think. Because I suppose the next step would be to uh, bring in perch like we did last time. So what do otters eat? Dace, perch, pike, crayfish, clam. Anything. An otter will eat anything you put in front of it. And mallards. Oh. And they only eat dace. Fears nothing that resides in the lake. <laughs> the mallard fears nothing. Uh, the otter is top predator and eats anything except for the mallard. Nothing eats the otter. Good for the otter, I suppose. Okay, so is, is that you dying or what? What are you? Oh, no, you're just generation three. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. We have generation three. Dace is doing all right. Let's. Okay, so let's unlock the perch then. Place the perch breeding, breeding ground over here, out of the way, and get two perch in. They can start off. So what do perch need? Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Need some grass. And a redhead grass. There we go. You now have perfect ability. So that, so the perch will start. What do perch eat again? Do you eat the crayfish? Oh, you do as well. Crayfish, you better watch out. You got perch coming at you. Okay. Tempted to throw the next one in. Oh, hello. Tempted to throw the next one in as well. What's the next one? Uh, pike. Unlock this species to add it to the lake. Pike is a big fish that eats dace and perch. It only fears the otter. I mean, I don't know. They're, 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 the dace are, seem to be doing okay. These things are coming to eat these clams, are they? There we go. Nice. Thank you. Increase the oxygen with Aldi. I mean, I've done it. Keep playing. Generation 1. Generation one. So no, there are there are clams there. I wasn't sure if they were alive or not. But yeah. Oh there we go. Perch has just popped a baby out. Good stuff. Dace. Seems to be doing okay. Got a decent little population of dace right now. Oxygen's fine, nutrients are fine, toxins are going down due to the clams. Yeah, just increase the increase the oxygen with algae. Just isn't doesn't seem to be going away. Unfortunately, even though the oxygen level is full there. I don't believe there's a way to actually get rid of stuff. Total 26 of 72. Oh, that's interesting. Nutrients. Displays what affects nutrients. Green shows. Okay. I don't really understand what they're doing, but okay. Oh, that was just a help thing, wasn't it? Right, okay. Uh, I don't want to go to camp. But I've just got, I haven't got an ejecting now. Oh, oh, days are popping out. Oh, I might just, I might just try and build it up then and get an otter, just for fun. Just to see the otter little potter, potter, the otter potter. I want to see the otter potter about. So, pike. Place the breeding ground. Oh, it's a big bleeding ground, pike is, isn't it? Look at that. So, they need some grass and some hornwort. And some hornwort. So now you have a perfect environment for producing as well. Hatching. Hatching. Nice. Pike hatching. So watch research this time then. Passive income. Increased reproduction income. Uh, go on, then we'll get those. Good. I mean, that, that bit's almost like a clicker game, which I'm not too sure about. But everything else I'm really quite enjoying, actually. It's quite peaceful. It's quite uh, chilled out, you know. Perch there is getting pretty hungry. 
Those clams are doing right. Their generation two clams just died. So I'm hoping there's a generation three under you somewhere. Yeah, there you go. They just sort of keep reproducing. That's a bit weird. <laughs> um, I suppose they're not really ones for moving around much, are they? All right. So okay, pike. Pike seems to be doing okay. How many pike have we got? Just the two. Four perch. So perch, perch are reproducing. Dace 15. No issues there. That means they just. Oh, that means they have a thing for them, right? Okay. Okay. So we've got Dace and Perch. Now we're moving on to some bigger stuff then. So we've got Mallards. 41 for a Mallard. Let's put you down. So what do you need then? The Mallard eats Dace and it fears nothing that resides in the lake. Okay. Have we got enough for two of you? There we go. We've got duckies. I can follow you, ducky. Oh, I really love the art. I'm really enjoying the art style. Very much enjoying the art style. So there we go. Two duckies just pottering. Uh, next up is the otter. That's going to take 12 of those. Now, see, here's the problem. Without more objectives, I'm not going to get the otters because that you can only get them, I believe, from objectives. Unless, hold on. Um, no, the pass passive income just brings in these as well. Huh. Okay, let's click go to camp. And see if it wants me to do anything in camp. Thanks for playing this prototype. Oh, okay. I guess that's the end. <laughs> okay, well, we got some ducks. That was cool. <laughs> I could say, very early prototype. I'm, I'm excited about this. I like these kind of things. This sort of chilled out, uh, you know, like not, not, not lots of options to place down plants and stuff. Yeah, this one we'll keep an eye on. I, I, we won't cover it anymore just now, but, um, you know, once we get like a, a, a fuller playable thing, we'll probably have a look at it in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Be good.